So I'm back from three days of Superboof Madness in Berlin. It happened in the 20th year by now and after the pandemic everybody was eager to join this party and event. It's not your usual fair. As you already see in the video it was in a huge park area in the middle of the woods. Yeah, 20 years of Superbooth and this is the history in the entrance area and you could see all those pictures when it started at the Frankfurt Music Fair and yeah, the people looked a little bit younger than nowadays and it was really great looking through all these images and also the first ones then happening in Berlin. And this is a big entrance area, which was normally packed with booths as well. So this was clearly the talk of the show, the new Oberheim OBXA. And I sadly could not play it myself because it was really packed with people and film teams all over it. But there was a nice presentation and you could at least get an impression of the sound. And this was really a big surprise. There was a talk with Dave Smith and Tom Oberheim himself was shown via Zoom and they had a really interesting discussion. Yeah, more of the inside area upstairs. Soma having some sounds, esoteric installation. And this is the morgue booth where you had to remove your shoes and go inside and you could draw everywhere. Polly and another talk of a show your kind of drum machine sequencing everything stuff really great cases for your modular stuff the nicest I've seen so far and also Motosynth have a new version with even more noises in it And another thing which was totally new for the fair was there was a guitar exhibition in one small hall. Not too much people in there sadly, but I think this might grow as well and quite interesting to see as well. So Akai came with an update for the software which will be available soon and also the big surprise I heard which is basically known already in the end of what it will be will be revealed in about six weeks. And this area outside is one of these huge tent areas of many, many tents. And uh, another talk of the show was the unbelievable truck of Arturia. Thanks for Matthias for showing the new product. Bitwig did not only show their new version 4.3, they also won the prize for the best looking carpet of the show and their giveaway, those nice chocolate was a really really bad idea. I ate just too much. And if you enter the tents there was just so much noise and entertainment and modular stuff and things moving and blinking. I had no idea at what to look or check out. Luckily there's a lot of videos about these details. Yeah, but I checked out here Chaos from Poland. They have now meanwhile lots of modules, also new stuff in their package and they all sound really, really good. Also some interesting modular uh, module cases where you can configure to your own liking, which is not too expensive and does not break the bank. Soundforce have an interesting controller for your software plugins and also some modules which make some nice sounds. And a very interesting controller, the Electra One, which has touch capabilities as well as some knobs on it. And there might be something coming for Bitwig as well. The nifty case with keyboard is very interesting since this is the only solution of that kind currently available. ESI had a little controller which might not look too impressive, but I did not know that they also have now the right for the CME keyboard and both together are pretty powerful and fit in a very flat bag. And I heard that they are working on an update for this keyboard as well. 
Yeltex, another company with very interesting controllers, which you can configure yourself on their web page and then design also with your own logo and stuff. Great to see kids also turning knobs and twiddling and making similar noises than the grown-ups. A teacher from Vienna with their sixth degree classes and <laughs> I think some other musicians could use such a conductor as well. Really great performance. And there was also this Gesprächskonzerte, which means you have a little bit of product placement and explanation, but the thing is about making music. Another one with the Udo synth, and this synth really impressed me and I had a play with it. Really nice and easy to use synth, but nevertheless a bit on the pricey side. And the variety of music presentations, live concerts were much, much bigger this year. Not the only uh, modular blinky bling, also some guitar players could make some bad, bad noise. And if you have an idea what this instrument is called, what he's playing, seems something of an Ebo, uh, this would be of interest to me. So tell me down in the comments what that is. And this is a circus stand, also another location for live gigs. And we also had some chairs as well, why not? And you also still have your usual modular noises and bleeps and tweeps and people enjoyed it as well. And late night techno is always the way to go. And there are also surprise concerts. Richie Ortiz played a surprise concert of his DJ set, people partying and ducks swimming. And you could continue in the bungalow village until late, late at night.